tout le monde ne peut pas devenir un grand artiste, mais un grand artiste peut émerger n'importe où. Ne laissez pas sans vous imposer des limites. Ce prétexte de vos origines. Votre seule limite, c'est votre âme. Tout le monde peut prévenir. Tout le monde peut prévenir. Welcome to the crypt. Today we are going to be trying our hand at a mushroom terrine and a sole meunier. And let's define those two vocabulary words that we have today. A terrine is something that's compacted in a rectangular shape. Um, it's made up a bunch of different things, kind of like a meatloaf. So we're making a mushroom meatloaf today. Awesome. And meunier is French for Miller's wife, and if you were a Miller's wife, you had lots of extra flour laying around everywhere, so you just coated everything in it. So it's just some fish dunked in some flour for you. So let's get to these two dishes. I'm feeling pretty confident tonight. And don't worry, this isn't wine. For the mushroom terrine, you will need a variety of mushrooms. If you can find a nice organic variety pack, that'll suit you just well. Six cups of chicken stock, two unflavored packets of gelatin, and the recipe I'm following calls for herb crepes, but the picture in the game looks like it's coated in a, a greener outer lining, so I'm going to try my hand at a spinach flatbread. And for the sole monnier, the ingredients are, of course, a sole, of course, a sole, you want a skinless, boneless filet, two tablespoons of butter, the juice of one lemon, all-purpose flour, some parsley, and just if you want to make it look exactly like what was in Kingdom Hearts 3, some black caviar. Hey, it's the day before. Wow, am I blown out? I'm whitey whitey now. So obviously the biggest ingredient in the mushroom terrine is the mushrooms. Um, and that's what gave me the most grief over the process of researching for this recipe. Because I started out thinking that I wanted to follow the exact mushrooms that were in the game. That being a uh, morel, chanterelles, a black trumpet, and a king oyster. Now, I don't know what the mushrooms are like in your neck of the woods, but it was kind of hard to find those exact mushrooms, especially if, you know, you've never seen them before. Like, look at what, this is what a morel looks like. Ugh, what is that? Trispidecophobia, the house. But I at least found chanterelles. They are dried, but we're gonna boil these in some chicken stock later, so that should rehydrate them. I do have these uh, two packets of a variety of mushrooms. This one has criminy, shiitake, and oyster mushrooms, and I think this one has oyster mushrooms too in it. I don't know if they're king oyster though. I don't, I don't, uh, are king oysters just bigger? And black trumpets look like really exotic. I don't know where you would find those. And it doesn't say, I wish this said what kind of mushrooms are in here. I think that's a king trumpet mushroom there. Those look like oysters. I don't know what these tiny little white ones are. They're cute though. First things first, these are all cut up. Let's get to chopping these mushrooms. Ooh, look at him. Isn't he fun? So we are going to cut these mushrooms lengthwise into kind of bigger pieces. You kind of want to think of it as um, you're laying down layers of mushroom. Look, that looks like a knife. <laughs> then we're kind of going to do the same thing with these oysters, which is a little bit harder because they're kind of not really conducive to that kind of shape. There, that's a much better frame. Um, bumpy. And for these guys, we are just going to cut this base off of here. Like so. And then that should be, yeah, these are all separated. Now, 
my thumb. God damn, six cups of broth, okay? I don't even have like a six cup thing, you bitch. <laughs> teaspoons, teaspoons. But look, see, my mom knows I like Kingdom Hearts, so she buys things in key form all the time. And then in a saucepan, we are going to boil our six cups of chicken broth. And once we have our broth up to a boil, we are going to add in our mushrooms one variety at a time. So I'm gonna start with my chanterelles, which are dried, so let's see what happens with those. If you have chanterelles too, you wanna to boil those for four minutes. And I have colander over a bowl here for them to go and drain after they're done boiling. They're squishy, they're squishy. Yeah, I think those look nice. So we're gonna take our slotted spoon that we have and take them all out and get it ready for our next variety. Then I'm gonna do my trumpet. Awesome. All other varieties do two minutes. This one is just a lot of sitting around and doing nothing. I'm boiling mushrooms. Well, your eyes are like that. Cause it's Halloween. Ah! <laughs> they're soft, right? See those <laughs> dents that I've been making with my nail? Yeah. That's cooked. Yeah. Um, let's do the oysters. Got lots of oysters. Oyster <laughs> mushrooms, that is. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Come here, you little oysters. Isn't that what the walrus does in Alice in Wonderland, he says, come here, you little oysters. And he eats these shiitake mushrooms. Huh. Oh, shit. Taki mushrooms. The broth has a very nice color to it now. For sure. Mmm, broth. Okay, you sh shiitake mushrooms. Come on out to play. And then last but not least, we have these tiny white ones. Just put in there like that. Little tiny mushroom. Little tiny mushroom. Little tiny mushroom. Little tiny mushroom. So then we are going to let this boil down to, we want it to be two cups. And there are specifically forms for a terrine. That's why it's called a terrine, because it's made in a terrine. But I have this tiny loaf pan, which we can use, um, which is also why I had ve relatively very small amounts of mushrooms. So if you're gonna try this out, make sure that you have um, an adequate amount of mushrooms for the size of the pan that you're going to cook it in. So what we're going to do to prepare our pan is we spray it first and then use cling wrap because the oil makes the cling wrap stick better to the pan. There, nice and greasy, just like me. Right, and then we're going to prepare with our spinach flatbread. You want to have all four sides covered. So we're gonna flip this over to there. So you do want kind of a lot of it hanging out. I just rip that with my nail. And then I want to Snip the sides like this, right at the corners there. Here, there, there. So our terrine is all prepped out. And then we're gonna take a fourth of a cup of cold water and we're going to soften, soften the gelatin. And this is hard to do, okay? You have to pour the gelatin on top of the water and then you don't touch it. And that usually takes about a minute for that process to happen. And 
Now that that's all softened, we're going to add it into our stock, which has been cooling. It's cool. It's very chill, you know, cool. She's a cool girl. See how it's a little solid in here? That's softened gelatin. See, professional. And we're just gonna mix that gently into our stock, very, very gently. So now that our aspic is all mixed in, look at how beautiful. We're going to start our first layer of the tureen. And I'm gonna start with the trumpets because they're nice and big. So I feel like they would be a very solid bottom layer. Oh, they're kind of slippery. Mmm, this might be a pretty sparse layer. Maybe I should have had more mushrooms. I'm all out of trumpet already, so I'm going to take some shiitake, shiitakes and fill in some of the gaps there. And then we're going to take our aspic, our stock, and we're going to pour it right over them. Just a first layer. And then we're going to refrigerate this until it starts to set a little. So this has been setting for way too long. This is where we're at right now. So much of this recipe is just like sitting and waiting for things to happen. It's all jelly. I'm gonna take the rest of this shiitake, the oyster, and the little white ones, sprinkle those in as their own layer. And then we're gonna put the white ones over top of that, sprinkle those. And then we're gonna take our stock and fill that up to there. Whoop, beautiful. Then we're gonna take our chanterelles, sprinkle those on top. And then we're gonna pour in the rest of our stock until it covers the chanterelles. There we go. And then, boop, 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 boop. I improvised with some clippy clips. We're gonna fold everybody over. Let's try to make this pretty, try to make it pretty. Tuck these corners in. Oh, wow, look at that loaf. And then we're gonna take another piece of saran wrap and seal it all in there. Before you do this next part, you'll wanna get a little dish to catch all of the fluid that might leak out because we're going to press it down make sure it's all compact Ooh, bloop see it bloop we want it to be compact so we're going to put some weights on it i'm just going to take i'm going to take a couple soup cans and then we're going to refrigerate that for 24 hours oh boy i'm tired that recipe was a lot of waiting around. My lipstick is cracked, and so is my soul. Boo, 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 boo. Boo, 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 boo. And we're back in the future. Let's get started on this fish. So our first step is to dredge the fish fillet. And to prep that, we're gonna dump a little bit of flour onto a plate. Get enough to cover the base of the fish. Magic. And then we're going to salt and pepper both sides of our filet. Eat That salt came out a little fast, wasn't prepared for it. Oh, this has skin on the other side. Should I have taken the skin off? Uh-oh, uh -oh, I'm not following my own directions. Um, I'll just turn it on the other side and no one would know. No one will know. Salt it and then here we go. We're gonna dredge it, ready? Dredged. We judged dredged this fish. <laughs> All right, now let's move over to the stove. And we're going to melt about a tablespoon of butter into our pan. And we're going to pair and sear our filet. For about 
two to three minutes per side. Too hot to handle. Cause it's a hot handle. Oh, oh no. My plate got all dirty. All right. Now let's just leave that flour mess there and see how our terrine is looking. I made three divots in the top. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I love that. So let's turn this out. See what we got. smells it all leaked up to the bottom so there's gelatin it's all squishy okay 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 ah, okay 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 <laughs> ooh, ooh, I hope it looks nice ooh, 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 let's go ready oh oh no come on let's see it Oh no, that fell apart. <gasps> oh, okay. Can you see that in there? Can you see? Nice, 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 nice though. <laughs> it jiggles. <gasps> no, stop falling out. I think it really needs to be a lot more compact than it is, but no. Okay, I'm gonna try a different knife maybe. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Okay, that's just kind of getting more and more of a mess. So let's just plate it and say that it's better than it is. Please put that guy on there like that. All right, and this guy is kind of together. Please don't all fall out. Please don't all fall out. Please don't all fall out. <gasps> oh, he lays there like a limp biscuit. Yeah, perfect. Uh, and we're almost ready to plate our fish too. So I'm gonna take some parsley and we need to mince it right up. And then we're going to get our lemon ready. It's a teeny tiny lemon. But we just have one filet, so that should be fine. And let's plate these suckers. Ooh, my antlers. Hi, Hugo. Beep, boop, boop. Here come the fish. Here come the fish. He's a fish. What a dirty plate. Let's clean that up. Oh, before I do that, let me squeeze this lemon over here. There should be enough lemon. Gotta make things look nice. We're getting graded on presentation too. There's our fish. There's our fish. And then I'm going to quickly melt the rest of our butter, which is another tablespoon. Sprinkle the parsley right on over top. Yep, yep, yep. And then we just pour some more butter. That's all this dish is, is butter and fish. Right on top there. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Now comes the hardest part. So then it looks like there is a drizzle of balsamic vinegar. There's it's much thicker and less gloopy than mine. Oop. There we go. And there are these little orange dots all around the outside. Who knows what those are, but I'm going to try honey. <laughs> oh, those are more ovals than circles. Eh. Where's my and there was just a little bit of, I'm guessing, parsley in the background. One singular basil leaf just there. Yum, 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 yum. Try us with some caviar. Ooh. See, the caviar is on theme because we're doing. Oh no, this spoon isn't going to get in there. Uh. Poop. You're not supposed to put it in silver because silver messes with the chemistry. 
Thanks, family guy. Let's just have one big old dollop right on top there. And some like specks in the front. So you know me, I like junk in the trunk and specks in the front. And then it looks like they got a little bit of dill. Not dill pickles or dill pickles, but dill. Stand up, you bitch. <gasps> oh my God, there she is. Oh my God, she has risen. <laughs> oh no. Okay, now let's eat these puppies. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, ah. let's try these. I'm gonna go for the tureen first. Got it right in the honey. something. I can kind of, I think, taste the broth that's in there. Let's try the soul butter. What could go wrong? Mm. Mm -hmm. White fish and kind of famous for having no flavor. Mmm. That was just the lemon though that I really liked just then. Let's see if the caviar does anything with it. I'm, I don't think I've ever had caviar though. So let me see if I, what does caviar taste like? Oh, kind of just tastes like salt, <laughs> really fishy salt. Okay, let's put them together. See if uh, the dev team was onto something with putting these together. No, that makes it taste more like fish. Kind of just tasted like almost nothing before. So um, let me get some more butter. Maybe it'll make it taste like butter. Yeah, I can see how that would be pretty appealing. But is it appealing though, Bench? Uh, this might just turn out to be, I hate rich people and all the things that they come up with because all the things they come up with are superfluous and disgusting. <laughs> it kind of just tastes cold, and I'm just really cold right now. Am I doing this wrong? Can someone tell me if I'm wrong? Soul is famous for being tasteless. Like, great. When can I sign up with that? Just one mushroom, balsamic, and honey. Okay. Mmm. 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 Oh, <laughs> that tastes like balsamic and sweet. That's nice. Everything in the actual thing. Meh. Bye. By the way, um, I've been lying to you the entire video. That isn't actually a piece of sole. That's another white fish. Cause guess what? All white fish look the same. <laughs>